Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to model our foundations on this building that you are seeing here. And later on, we are going to create a foundation plan. Now, whether you are an architect or an, a structural engineer, this method will work for you. Okay, the process is the same or the procedure is the same and the tools are the same for both disciplines. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and get started. So before you do anything, make sure that you check your levels. You can go to any of the levels here, the elevations here, so that you see how the levels are. I'll just go to south here and you see that I just have two levels. So make sure that you create a level below. So I'll just go to structure. You can as well go to architecture, click on level. Then I'll just, you know, click the first point and the second there to place my level. Click on modify. Then I'll just rename this level to TOF. Okay, and then click outside and click on yes. Okay, then I'll select on that level and select the dimension there 1m, enter for 1 meter on your keyboard, then click outside. Okay, so I have the level below the ground level. Now, if I just go to level 1 there, this is the floor, okay, the ground level, you see that I have the walls and the columns. Okay, so what you can do to, to have your walls extending down there, let me just change this to shaded. If you want, you can just select on the wall there. For example, we have the base constraint and the top constraint. So the base constraint can simply be changed to TOF. You see that if I just click inside there, you see that I have the wall extending down there. Now, usually you may have different properties for the wall, maybe on top there and the wall down there. Maybe this one will be filled with concrete. Let me just undo this command. So maybe you'd want to have a different wall down there. So to do that, you can just go to level one. Okay. Then just go to, you can either, if, the, if it's a structural project, you can be under structure. If it's architectural, you can go to architectural. So I'll just maintain structural there. Then go to wall there. Maybe click, you know, structural wall. Then that is the wall, for example, I want the wall below to be filled, so I need a different wall so that they can change the properties. I'll simply pick that wall from there as a starting point, okay? I'll simply pick that wall, or from there you can see that I have foundation. Maybe assuming that it's of concrete, you can simply pick. It depends on what you are doing. Then click on edit there, make sure that you duplicate and give it a different name, a unique name. That is okay. Okay, click on OK from there. Then under the structure, I'll click there and make this one 200. Okay, then click on OK and click on OK. I've set the properties for that wall. Then from here, you see that I'm on level one. So I'll change this one to, that is depth. Depth is selected. Then the TOF because I want to, to make sure that the wall goes down. Then wall center line is OK. Then it's just a matter of picking the line there and picking, you know, by just tracing like that, you know, pick up to there, you know, pick up to there, pick there, and all the way up to there. Okay, then if I just click on modify and go to the 3D view, see that I have the, the foundation wall from the ground level. Okay, you can still do the same for the, you know, the columns there. But for the columns, maybe I just want the columns to go all the way up to the, let me just go to south there. Just extend, I just, I'll just extend the columns up to the, to that level. So I'll just select one column, right click, then select all instances in visible view. If I go to the 3D view, see that the columns are selected and I'll just extend them by changing, we have the, the top level and the best level, the best level is level one. I can simply change this one to TOF, select there, move my cursor inside and you see that they have the, the columns extending down. Now, let me go back to level one, okay? Or maybe under the structural plans, you see that we have uh, that level, TOF, top of foundation, and you see that you have the columns. For example, we use the concrete uh, the concrete, you know, walls there and we still have the columns. 
Now to create your foundations, just go to structure, then make sure that for these, for the walls, make sure that you use this one wall, click on that, okay? Then from here, under the property, select there, I'm just going to use the bearing footing, select on it, click on edit, then duplicate and click on OK. Then from here, under the structural material, I'll use that material. Then I'll just change the thickness, the foundation thickness from here. You can change and then the width you can also change from here. Okay, so the thickness 300 is okay. 300 is okay. All right, so let me just click there once again, select there once again to open from there. You see that you are able to open your foundation. So the width, if I want, I can change the width maybe to 600, okay? And the foundation thickness, I'll maintain it. Maybe let me change to 400 from there, then click on apply. Once you do that, it's just a matter of now picking the walls. As you can see, you can pick the walls like that and you see that you are going to have the foundations. Okay, I'll just click on modify, go to structure. Then for this one, these are isolated foundations for the columns. Make sure that you go to isolated, you know, select on it. Then from the properties, you can pick something like this one as a starting point, select on it. Then click on edit, then duplicate, maybe give it a name. I'll just call it P1. Click on OK, then the foundation thickness, maybe I want this one to be 400. Then the width, I'll maintain it. Then the length, maybe 1,500. Okay, then click on OK. Then it's just a matter of going there and just maybe picking the centers. As you can see from there, you can place my foundations on top. As you can see from there, place it right there. If I want to rotate it, just tap space bar on your keyboard. You are able to rotate it like that. You know, place it like that. This one, click there. If I want to, you know, Rotate it, space bar on your keyboard, click. Okay, you see that we are done with the foundations, then click on modify. Okay, so if I just go to the 3D view, you see that I have all the foundations right there. Okay, let me click on the, uh, the wheel there, hold there and orbit to see that all the foundations are there. Now, if you want to create maybe a general arrangement drawing, let me go to TOF right there as you can see. Okay, let me activate the thick lines. Okay, you see that I have the wall there and the columns, the lines are thicker because I'm cutting a section on those walls and also the columns. Okay, so what I can do maybe to show that, you know, these are below. Okay, what I can do to show these ones are, are hidden lines. I can go to visibility graphics, VG on your keyboard. Let me find the structural walls. Rather, I need to find the structural foundations. As you can see, I have the structural foundations under the model categories. So what you need to do, just need to go to projection or surface, click the override there, then the pattern, you can change it from here. If I just want to show it as maybe hidden lines there, I can click OK, apply, OK. You see that I have the lines for the foundations as hidden lines, OK. So you can go ahead and now, you know, do the detailing, just go to annotate, align from there. Okay, if I want to show those, as you know, like that, you can click, click that, place the dimension. If I want it to be within there, I can click, pick that, pick that, pick that one, that one, place it right there. If I want to dimension, you know, the pad foundations like that, it's just a matter of picking those points like that and place it right there i can do the same on the other side pick that pick like that pick like that one pick it and place it there okay the overall dimension maybe from that point to that point you can pick it there and from this point maybe all the way up to the end i can select on it and place it there okay the other thing that you can do you can annotate maybe the walls there. Let me just click on modify. To do that, I can simply 
use the tags okay for example if i want to tag you know that you know part foundation you can just go to annotate then tag by category remove the leader there you see that i can simply hover my cursor there to place it in the center there then select there just pick on those like that continue picking remember i gave it p1 okay then click on modify if i want to move it a bit i can just select one as you can see then right click after select selecting on it select on it right click select all instances invisible view all the tags are selected i can just use an arrow on my keyboard to just move it down like that click outside let me do the same for you know the continuous footing there I'll just go to annotate tag by category then you see that if i just over my cursor there i have the tag okay i'll just place it there i'll change it later place it there place it there and there click on modify now you see that that is what the tag is speaking it's speaking the name so i can simply select on the pad foundation there click on edit and i'm just going to rename this is the name the type name that that is speaking i'll give it 600 by 400 millimeters okay so i'll just rename it and call it 600 by 400 millimeters you can still add some other information that you want you know to display there then click on ok click on ok you see that the name will simply change let me just select that and uh, select all of them actually and did it so that i show you how you can do that instead of trying to rotate I'll just select that one and that one since they are the ones I want to change. Then click on delete. Then I'll go ahead and select that one. Place the case there. Then tab, tab on your keyboard. Then select it and just drag it there. This is where I want it to be. Go to that one. Place your case there. Tab, tab. Select it. Then drag it there. Then I want to show you how you can automatically orient it within there. So select on the tag. Then edit family. Once you click on edit family, this is the family. Just select on the family right there. Then let me go to the parameters there. Then make sure that you check this one, rotate with component. Then click OK. Then load there. Then just click on no. And overwrite from there. Then you see that if I just go to annotate, tag by category. If I just over my cursor there. Uh, it's supposed to align unfortunately it can't but i don't know for some reason it's not performing well okay so i can simply place it once again and i should be able to rotate it later so without you know spending too much time on this one you can simply go ahead and rotate this one so this is how you are going to you know create your foundations like this and also you know try to place all the details the dimensions you can go ahead and place some more dimensions the way you detail in your office